goal to help educate people to make their own decisions about skincare so they don't have to believe all the marketing claims that I feel are often hyped and untrue. When you walk into a department store, a pharmacy, or a drugstore, you're bombarded with options and it's confusing. There's a need for consumers to know what's right for their skin and what will really make a positive difference for them. Your center is often tapped by pharmaceutical companies and cosmetic companies to, for testing and, and, and other things. And you found that 80% of us, we don't know what skin type we have? 80% of us? Unfortunately, it's true. In my last 10 years studying products and seeing patients at the University of Miami, we found that people are often wrong, even educated women who know a lot, a lot about their skin. So um, they, they buy the wrong products, they spend mm. too much money, and they end up looking terrible. It's very and sad. And we can do more harm than good if we don't know. And you said that's a first in your book. You said the key thing is to know your skin type. There were 16 different skin types. Absolutely, and, and that's what I'm here in Ireland speaking about to introduce the new typing system to doctors. But it's based on four main skin issues. The first one is if you're oily or dry. The second one is if your skin is sensitive or not. The third one is if you get pigmented problems, dark patches on your face. And the last one is if you have a tendency to wrinkle. So when you combine those, it gives you 16. So for example, I'm a dry, sensitive, not pigmented, tendency to wrinkle type. And what's interesting to me is we all know that we need different perfumes. What smells good on you might not smell good on me. But for some reason, we're led to believe that you and I would do great with the same skincare product. Mm -hmm. But just as your chemistry determines what perfume is right for you, your blood chemistry, your skin chemistry also determines what skincare is right for you. So the oily sensitive types have more acne issues, um, and, but they also wrinkle. Those are the people who in their 40s say, how come I'm wrinkling and I'm getting acne? That's not fair. And then people like me, the dry, sensitive, non-pigmented wrinkles, you can't use hotel soap, you can't borrow your friend's products because you react to everything. Sure. You get the sample in the mail and you're all excited and you use it and next thing you know you look like a lobster. So if you're 20 years old and you take the, the questionnaire, you can find out that, oh my goodness, I'm going to wrinkle in the future and start using products that can help that. There's two main myths. One is that expensive is better. And the other is that if there's a lot of hype and a lot of marketing, it must be good. And actually, you're paying for that marketing. So there's a lot of great, inexpensive products out there that don't have a model's face on the cover. There's many products out there that are inexpensive that are great. But if you do want to spend $250 on a cream, at least make sure it's one that's right for your unique skin type. So once you take the test and you know what your type is, I tell you exactly what products to buy. So there's no guesswork. You don't have to believe marketing hype. And you don't have to spend a lot of money either because you'll buy the right products that work and the cheaper ones work better most of the time. <laughs> Your sunscreen should work for you. It should do more than just protect you against the sun. Now the point is, is that why just use any old sunscreen? You want a sunscreen that works for you and your problems. So if you're oily or dry, you want a sunscreen that's going to help that. Really? So you, you even have to stop and think about the type of sunscreen that you use that would be right for your skin? Absolutely. Why put on a sunscreen that's not going to work for you and fix your other problems as well? Yeah. I'm the director of cosmetic dermatology at the University of Miami. I developed the Cosmetic Center in 1997 and uh, trained many of the physicians there. Now we have six physicians and every month we have doctors from other countries who rotate with us and we teach 21 residents every year as well. And my goal with the book is to help people understand how to make their own choices so they don't have to buy into marketing hype. Of the three anti-aging experts who are tasked with rejuvenating our five volunteers, it's pioneering cosmetic dermatologist Dr. Leslie Bauman who's responsible for their skin and faces. Rosie's looking to Dr. Bauman for a miracle. Rosie, oh, she's what all dermatologists want to avoid. For her age group, her sun damage is really, it's really bad. If I could give one word of advice to everyone out there, if everyone would use sunscreen every day, a form of Retin-A such as Tazerac or Differin or Retin-A or Renova, and an antioxidant whether they want to take a supplement or a cream every day, in 20 years everyone, people will thank me.